Ellipsis Mark, Grammar Wired Grades 8 through 12. Ellipsis Mark. Use an ellipsis mark, three space periods, to indicate that something has been deliberately omitted from the material being quoted. An ellipsis mark is used in fairness to the original author and to the reader so that he or she knows that something has been taken out. The omitted text should not change the meaning of the original text. For an omission within a sentence, use three spaced periods, leaving a space before and after each period. I am a sick man. I am a spiteful man. Notice that there is a space between or before and between each period. If the omission is at the end of the sentence, use four periods. One further habit, which was somewhat weakened. Notice there was an omission here. There's a space before and between each period and after the last. And then we have two that are at the end of the sentence. So we have the three for the ellipsis and then the period for the end of the sentence in both places. When omitting words from poetry quotations, use the standard three period ellipsis like we showed on the last slide. When omitting one or more full lines of poetry or a whole paragraph of prose, use a full line of ellipses. Notice the plural of ellipsis is ellipses. Here's an example from Edgar Allan Poe's poem, The Raven. And this whole line you can see are ellipses. Use an ellipsis mark to show an unfinished thought. I don't know. I'm not sure. What happens if they this is how you use an ellipsis with a question mark. You use three periods and then the question mark. Use an ellipsis mark to show a passage of time. Meredith thought and thought, then thought some more. We were waiting and waiting and waiting. Finally, the baby was born. Notice how there are three periods in the middle of the sentence and then at the end of the sentence there are the three for the ellipsis mark and then the period for the end of the sentence.